think it'll be a wise decision. I'd rather do it safe than get hurt. All right, another day out here in the grain bin, and we took y'all's advice. We never thought of it. What is that? Oh, let's go. Got us a uh, Bob, fan. Man. We're gonna see if this helps out. We gotta get in there, clean everything out, and we're gonna start sealing up the floor. We're gonna let that go this way around. You know when you swim in a swimming pool and it makes a little tornado? That's what we're gonna do with the air. But right now, we need to get all of this stuff out and out of the way. We bought some stains and sealer. We're gonna still, we're gonna seal up this floor. That way, if water gets on it, it will stay beaded up on top. This is why we didn't load the grain bin up with all our stuff. We hate having to move our stuff all the time. We brought the lumber in because it was raining, but I won't do that again. Hopefully. All right, so Danielle's been sweeping. We got everything out of the way. We went and got some wood toned stain and sealer. It's supposed to be lifetime guarantee. We looked at a bunch of them. We're just gonna seal it with this. And also we'll know, do we wanna use this on the outside? What will it look like? Brown, man. So, that did pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that worked. That was a genius idea. Yeah, the sprayer did really well. Uh, it said it was supposed to do 400 to 600 square feet, and I think it did about 400. Um, we're gonna have to get another one, and then we'll finish the little bit. Unfortunately, we don't have enough now. We didn't wanna buy another, it's like 50, $60 a gallon. Thing, yeah. So, uh, we didn't wanna spend too much money on it and have a bunch of leftovers. So, what we'll do is, we'll get it, and then uh, we'll finish the rest of that, and then we'll just use whatever's left and kinda just the whole thing, mm -hmm. and just kinda recode it. It looks good. I wanna sample it out here. Yeah, it looks so good. We yeah. need to find a piece of board that we cut I, we should still have it. I think we might over there. And there's a, let's look. All right guys, so this is not the exact same board, but it's close enough that we are gonna let it dry. And uh, I, uh, it looks so good on the inside. Hopefully this dries really good out here. And then this might be the color we do on all of our deck we'll find out all right guys it has been how 24 hours ish yeah, since we did that shy. um since we did the uh, stain we got to do more we bought some more but we also bought a thermometer we're gonna leave it outside right now i think it's gonna max out today probably we're gonna leave it outside right now and kind of see where we're at and then we're gonna take it inside and see where we're at what is the difference go ahead and comment down below how much hotter do you think it is in there than out here i'm gonna say at least 20 degrees yeah at least so check it out Let's see. yeah it looks the exact same
we had a couple more square feet to do so we decided let's just go ahead and knock out the whole thing doing it with the sprayer was the absolute fastest and best way that we've tried it and then now that it's done and we have extra we decided to go through and do all the floor again it really really sealed it nicely and maybe in the next video we'll show you guys how well it works repelling water and I know I know why did you build that before staining I don't know it's just what we do We had picked up this metal mesh and we think it's going to work great keeping bugs and rodents out because I don't think the mice can chew through that, at least not easy. As you can tell, it's going to work great. There's no way rodents are going to get through that. I showed you a little bit but some of it I didn't film it's been too hot my camera's overheating but came in and started clearing out all of this up here in front of the deck uh, just trying to level it out the best can and then also there's just these shrubs everywhere growing all the little trees that we cut starting to grow back and then we have a bunch of scrap or really warped boards and we're putting it over all of the stumps that way tomorrow when it's not super hot it's finally going to be in the 80s for about a week it has been kicking my butt in there so whenever it's super hot i still need to get work done 
come out here and get a little bit of breeze it's a little easier but um, trying to burn all of these stumps get it all taken care of we really need all of this to be the best we can and start uh, building up our foundation. This is where our shop and potential future barn dominion might be, but our shop for sure. So whenever it's super hot and need to keep moving, need to keep doing stuff, the animals, they literally don't stay out at all. The dogs are all underneath the uh, grain bin deck and uh, the livestock, they stay in the uh, barn or in the shade or the pond. So trying to do what i can it is just brutally hot so whenever it's too hot in the grain bin I'm trying my best out here then i cool off rinse and repeat all right so with that uh we also started working trying to get the uh, driveway good again we need to get rock in here get the culvert in the front done um coming up soon it's not a uh, priority but it's something we'd like to do have a good driveway but there's still a couple of stumps here and there but we put up this uh, electric fence and it's worked great to keep the dogs from chasing and getting out and going all that chasing cars and whatnot but as you could tell my truck is out there and every time we come in we have to take the fence down which has been a huge pain in the butt so i think i have an idea and then also it's not great that these shrubs are actually growing where the uh, fence is so then the dogs will just learn to get underneath because it's pushing it up so that's why i'm doing this All right, so it's not perfect right now, but it goes to the front. I just kept it over there, comes down right here, so the dogs can't get out. And then I just need to hook it on there a little bit better. And then we have the cattle guard. As of right now, the dogs don't go over the cattle guard. So this will be the test if we have this all fenced in and we have the gate open, which we're gonna put a gate. Uh, if we put the gate open to come in and out, will the dogs get out? It's something I gotta test, but now I can actually come in with a uh, load full of lumber and go all the way in like we used to so like i said the uh weather's supposed to get better starting tomorrow for about a week i cleaned all this up and then uh, i still need to mess with this just a little bit more but then all of that's cleaned up and everything makes it a little easier to work uh when danielle comes out we'll uh finish the inside subfloor do all that but now you guys know uh, insects rodents can't get up through the gap and then uh, we have something whenever uh, we're gonna do our spray foam and stuff you guys will see what we're gonna do we have an idea we had talked to a professional and uh, he had the same idea that we had so we know it's gonna work I'm excited it's hot it's been miserable out here and instead of killing ourselves in there uh, with it being super super hot we'll just wait till it cools down <sighs> I think it'll be a wise decision I'd rather do it safe than get hurt.